Hello and welcome to today's new lecture. Uh, previously, we have discussed somehow regarding the LSTM and some of its improving it, like the increasing number of layers and apply by directionality, and also avoid learning the badding tokens, like the packing badded sequence uh, functionality. And currently, we'll be more focusing on the embedding layer. And you can say it is the first step of transfer learning. I'm telling you what I mean by just seconds. Uh, basically, previously, we have this embedding matrix, which is being having this indices of our vocab. And the vector, each, ind each index should be corresponding to a token and giving it an, a vector to, to represent it in a vectorized way. But basically, what's the problem of the embedding matrix is that is, is initializing all these vectors randomly. Okay, so while training the model, all these vectors need to be modified, fine-tuned in order to have meaningful interpretation to the corresponding token and as well similar tokens so should have similar embeddings so actually the embedding matrix is generating all these as random uh, numbers and giving each token this random vector what we are going to do today is nothing but instead of generating this num random vectors we need to use the glove embedding instead the glove embedding, as we have discussed through the previous lecture that we can use, is already trained on a large corpus of data. And in that way, the, the embedding have a meaningful interpretation for each token. And it's somehow transferring the knowledge of glove into our main downstream task. So the LSTM now, instead of taking random numbers that have nothing to do or not, no similarity between each other, the LSTM will now take uh, a meaningful vectors where the meaningful tokens should have or the um, uh, similar uh, tokens with similar meaning should have similar uh, similarity across its vectors. Okay, so the task of learning now is being easier to the LSTM and fine tuning also will be reduced by the computational time and the complexity of parameters because we are going to freeze this low, uh, glove embedding. We will apply like we will say, I don't need to train this uh, uh, glove as uh, the embedding layer because they are already pre-trained on different tasks and I need only to train the LSTM and whatever layers I have beyond. Okay. Another thing to mention here that is that in the embedding matrix, <coughs> we have uh, in this... <coughs> We have indices on the uh, x-axis or the y-axis and the vector on the x-axis. These indices actually are uh, mapping to uh, the tokens within the data. Okay. And the embedding layer will, instead of in being initialized using the vocab size and the embedding dimension, it will be initialized by a wool embedding matrix. So in that case, we need to take care of this mapping to be instead of the glove tokens, because these tokens will be in the glove uh, embedding. We will take the tokens from our data set and apply this mapping internally from our side. Okay, you will be understanding this part as well more in the uh, next slide. So basically, this was our uh, main mod model it will take these three layers, uh, embedding layer, the LSTM, and the final linear layer. What we are going to do today is just to change this uh, single line and to make it, instead of being initialized from vocab and embedding dimensional, I will be uh, initializing it from a pre-trained uh, embeddings, which is an um, the glove embedding. And it will take an embedding matrix and this matrix should have uh, the true embedding of all the tokens we have inside our data. 
and in that case the self embedding will be passed to the the x will be embedded through the glove and then will be passed normally to the lstm so the only change is only this single line okay and i have also this uh, option of freezing the the embedding layer so in that case all these uh, layer will not be trained through the back propagation okay <clears throat> so let's get moved to the uh, next ta task which is reading the data and apply tokenization on it okay so i'll be reading this data in that way and uh, basically to give you some intuition of it i will only uh, take a little bit on the glove embedding data i also mentioned the link of this glove through the top of this notebook so you can check it while uh, you learn this uh, tutorial okay i can open uh, the globe diamond um, data it is basically this task i can show you here that it is more or less a token and a 50 dimensional embedding uh, vector it has also multiple derivatives like 100 dimensional uh, 300 dimension and 200 dimension okay so each token here will have a, a separate embedding that are actually uh, trained on many corpus of data on a huge corpus of data and this is the final uh, embedding vector for each token okay so we are going to use these uh, embeddings in order in uh, instead of using random numbers from our embedding layer okay uh, as you can see here we can open it through this uh, embedding uh, globe 600 as you can see here there exist uh, this 100 200 350 we will be using this 50 just for simplicity and uh, reading them as a file <coughs> okay so now we have some error which is uh, charm app anything regarding this encoding part you can just uh, change the encoding uh, parameter to utf8 and this should be uh, pretty much solving the problem so as you can see from the embedding uh, file the globe file it have a token at first and then a large a long numerical vector uh, on the training okay so for example if i applied uh, this uh, splitting first i need to split lines and for each line i need to apply multiple more splitting in that case i need to uh, split it so the first token will be uh, the token itself and the other one will be the embedding okay and i can uh, assign all the list of the line to this embedding variable by adding this asterisk on the first so let's break and see how this uh, work just so for example this is the token and this is the embedding okay another thing i need to uh, modify here is the type of this embedding should be a uh, numerical type so i should have this float of e for e in m okay so this is now the final embedding okay good now i can save this embedding through a dictionary and let it be the glove embedding Okay, and it should take a token as the index and the value will be the embedding vector okay uh, if I apply some uh, EQDM for example so as you can see here there exist 400,000 uh, token will be initialized and save to the glove embedding and if i apply here the length of this it will be 400,000 okay 
uh, after this I need to apply um, I need to check from the uh, tokens that I have here that all these words should be exist in the glove embedding okay so I need to look for these tokens inside the glove embedding and give them the embedding vector okay this is the main task that I need to do and after this I need to pass these uh, vectors to the embedding layer as I have done through this simple line in that case okay so first in order to uh, match our tokens our data set uh, tokens with the glove tokens we need to apply some pre-processing to this uh, to this data set in order to match them as much as possible so for example i need to lower case and i need also uh, for example to apply stemming on each word so for example here uh, from nltk I have this uh, stem uh, portal stemmer that we have discussed through our uh, first lecture of our encoder if you can remember so I need to apply stemming on each so I need to uh, split it first and apply stemming for each token so for example this is a splitting and then I need to apply uh, for each tokens apply stemming before I show you I need to just show you or give you some interpretation of how it looks like as you can see here this is uh, the tokens being splitted into a list of tokens and here I will be applying stemming for each uh, token in uh, tokens okay as you can see here everything have been uh, stemmed as you can see as much as possible okay so let's save this as tokens and after this I need to create a vocab okay so the vocab is needed for the creation of this mapping that we have discussed earlier so basically inside the tokens I need to uh, chain chain is basically from the iter tools <coughs> and this would be basically instead of having this multiple lists i need to make it in a single list okay it will be just a single dimension and this will be our vocab okay as you can see here this is our uh, vocab data also you can notice that there exist some talk some symbols uh, are being used so basically you can apply more uh, pre-processing here to remove these symbols uh, in a simple way like if any of these symbols exist or only consider these uh, uh, alphabet uh, characters only through our text so you can apply multiple uh, series of pre-processing through this as much as you can okay in order to improve uh, this uh, lookup search when we search for these tokens inside the glove embedding dictionary okay so after this I need to generate this word to index uh, dictionary and also an index to word dictionary and the final thing is the index to embedding dictionary and this is the objective I need to have the embedding with my own index not the glove index okay so first thing is the word to index this is nothing but a uh, dictionary so I need to enumerate inside the vocab and then uh, the opposite thing I need to do inside this index to word
but it will be the reverse of it and after this i need the index to be the glove embedding okay so in that case this will be a little bit delayed not here will be initialized but will be initialized after i read the glove so now uh, within the glove i need to loop across my own data so for example i have this uh index toward so i need this index and the token in index toward items and then i need to search for this token inside the glove tokens and give the embedding to the tokens index so i have to initialize this index to embedding dictionary here and give each index the gloves embedding for this token okay so this is more or less uh what i have here but i have some uh uh like some risk there there is some errors because of course not all the tokens that i have through my data set should exist in the glove embedding so in that case i need to be somehow uh retrieving the glove embedding in a safer mode uh as for example like for the glove if i check the any anything i might have a vector for example the, cat, the vector of cat vector of a dog it should have these uh, embeddings retrieved but if i have the for example any random number i should have a key error so in order to avoid this key error i will be uh, retrieving it in a safer way the token should be in the get and if it is not exist i should re re i should retrieve a normal distribution vector with the same size of the embedding so for example if i have a 50 dimensional uh vector so show in that case i should re create a 50 dimensional normal distribution vector so that's the index to uh, embedding vector and in that case i can now pass this index to embedding in the um, embedding layer in that simple way for example here i can pass it from a data frame uh, perspective as you can see the indices are the number of tokens and the columns will be the embedding vector and i can pass this to the embedding layer just like uh, from pre-trained uh, i can use this embedding uh, tokens embedding or embedding globe for example and i can check this into values and the shape will be uh, the number of tokens by the number of uh, dimension so here i have this embedding layer <clears throat> Okay, I need to convert it to a tensor as well. And for example, if I can retrieve from it uh, the any index, it should be giving me the 50 dimensional vector. Okay. And I also can apply a freezing on this uh, on this layer so in that case it will have no gradient applied to it okay uh, last thing I need to do here is inside the pre-processing tasks that I need to apply also tokenization to these tokens so in that case I have these uh, tokens in the uh, text format I need to map them inside into the index to word format okay i can do it like 
this way for example i need to apply lambda uh, tokens and this will be word uh, to index it will be uh, this token for token in tokens and this will be tokens indices and in that case i can pass this token indices to our uh, data set module instead of passing the tokens and apply tokenization inside so i have applied tokenization but outside the data set module okay i uh, hope you understand today's lecture basically you can now uh, work again to the data set engine and the uh, final modules as we have done uh, previously and uh, you can also check the solution in the github but currently i just pass through you how you can choose the gloves embedding and pass it to the embedding layer and use it instead of just initialization from randomness so uh, see you in the next lecture and goodbye thank you